Hey creators, Howdy the Creator here, creating something new to share with you. That's a lot of creating. In the Discord group I started, we the creators, we do a weekly drawing challenge. Last week's drawing challenge came from an imager gallery. The gallery's name is Draw a Duck. It's this Draw a Duck. So in this thread, there's a lot of funny drawings. You basically have a really simple drawing prompt, this right here. It's just the duck's beak, an eye, and it's two feet with just a white background. And people have taken that and done some pretty creative things like this the samurai guy. <laughs> There's just a random duck in the middle. This big old snaky duck. Anime girl, the duck costume on. Bob Ross duck, big circle egg duck. There's some really cool ones in here, some really creative ones. Really talented people joined in and did this. So, so we did the same thing in our art group and had a lot of fun with it. There's a lot of fun different ones in here, but we decided to make our own images of this duck. So let's jump on over to Photoshop and draw some ducks. So firstly, I'm just gonna whip up a few different concepts and do some sketches and see which one calls out to me, which one I wanna pursue and do some final line art for. So I ended up doing six different concepts. I tried to explore a few different ideas. I'm doing a few monsters and then I tried to break away from the monsters and do some that weren't quite so monstery. I got a few humanoid looking ones, a buff duck and a Shrek looking duck. I then looked at them all together and decided which one I wanted to draw up first. And then I got distracted. Where did this duck come from? So I decided to draw this beastly looking creature first. It looked like it would be a fun one to draw and looked like a pretty fun creature. So I chose him and decided to give him more life. So I decided to make this big old husky creature have some wings still, although I don't think he's gonna be flying anytime soon. It looks like he's way too massive to fly. But he does still have duck feet, so he has to be some sort of duck relative. A long distant cousin or something. But as penguins have wings and don't fly, they use them to swim. I'm sure this guy has some sort of use for these. Maybe they just fan him off when he gets too hot. I'm imagining this giant space underneath his mouth here is like a giant holding area for his food so he could swallow big old creatures, swallow things almost his own size, kind of like a pelican where he stores all those fish in his giant beak. So it's almost like a pouch where he stores his food as it digests into his stomach, like a holding area before it gets in there. He has some spikes on his head and along his back, four legs to hold up his massive weight. He looks like he's a hefty creature and I think he turned out pretty cool. And here he is, the final husky duck creature. Another distraction. That was fun, so I wanted to do another one, so I'm gonna do this monstery one because I just love drawing monsters. Anybody that knows me and watches my channel knows I love drawing monsters. I do it all the time. Abomination duck. Here we go. What's a duck doing out in the abomination forest anyway? Eating mushrooms? This guy's crazy. He paid the price though. He's never gonna have to share his cornmeal again. So this duck creature has six eyes, three on each side. He's got this long old tongue dripping saliva because I love drawing these flailing tongues. They're a lot of fun. I love doing a lot of teeth details too. So this guy's got a mouthful of gnarly sharp teeth. I don't know if he's gonna even wanna eat corn anymore. It's more like he's gonna eat his little compadres, other ducks. He's got lots of rolls, rolls on rolls. He's really, really pesado, really chunky. He's got some miscellaneous feathers poking out here and there. His little wings again look like they could definitely not make him fly. Couldn't even hold his weight. This guy's more of a duck that used to be cute and transformed instead of a relative of a duck. He's straight up abomination material. He may even give one or two of you a nightmare. Whoever thought they'd be afraid of a duck. So here is the final, and after drawing him, do you know what I decided to do? I decided to draw another one. So after drawing two monstery ones, I decided to draw this really long neck one because I thought it was kind of cute, a little endearing, kind of fun. I like drawing things with long necks, apparently. I drew Bob Ross with a really long neck. It turned out pretty cool, so why not? And I could have done the punk rocker one with the long neck too, that was in the top right, but he's just too monstery. I want to do something that's not quite so scary this time. I don't know why, but this one was really fun to draw. Just the loopiness and kind of pretzel neck that I gave him. And it's actually really easy to do once you get a sketch down. You just decide which one's on top, which one's below. Did some little simple shading. His feet kind of connect a little bit weird. His other foot in the back should have connected a little bit further back on his body. I could have drawn it a little differently, but I just left it because that was fun. He's got a little snake tip tail. And again, his wings won't make him fly. They're just way too small for the weight of his giant body. Can you imagine seeing this thing try to fly though? <laughs> Hanging down, whack you in the head as it flies over. Get his head wrapped around the power lines. <laughs> I could just see this guy causing all kinds of havoc. But here he is, the final, and he turned out really fun. I really like him. So as I said earlier, we did this as a group challenge for the We The Creators group, and I'm gonna show off a couple of the ones that I saw that were my favorites out of the group. I'm not showing all of them, and I apologize if you are in the group and I didn't show yours. I like them all, but these are just my favorite ones. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging out today and for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Hopefully you like these ducks. Feel free to draw your own ducks. I'd love to see your ducks. Tag me on Instagram if you decide to draw one. I'd love to see it. And just so you know, the group We The Creators is an open art group with challenges, weekly challenges, and monthly drawing prompts. Anybody can join if you want to come and be creative with us. You are more than welcome so long as you obey the rules and help create a positive and creative environment. This is Hattie The Creator signing out and I will catch you on the next video. Oh, 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 oh,